All right. Okay, I'll just go live. Hello, hopefully this is live. I can't tell yet. It, uh, it always takes a few seconds of buffering on my end for me to be able to tell whether we're actually live. Yes, someone's already identified the clip I'm going to talk about. It was an amazing clip. I'm so excited for it. Just just three people waiting for the big T. Yeah, yeah. Apologies if it's, if it's ever awkward just having to wait for me to come on screen. Hopefully you weren't waiting too long. Hello to... Uh, Oscar Watt, Bandit Gaming, uh, Jean-Luc, uh, The Nordic Doctor, hello to you all, how are you doing? I have had a shave, for the person who noticed, yes, uh, to, to Bandus for noticing, uh, Jord, morning, yep, it's, it's about, uh, quarter to seven over here, but yes, uh, morning to you, wherever you're from, the iconic Blue Adidas shirt, well, I had to do it because, you know, this is a very, you know, significant stream for us, this will probably be... Probably, I mean, it really depends on whether, you know, I've got anything substantial to say, you know, just before Power of the Doctor airs, but more than likely, it will be the last stream before Power of the Doctor airs, so the next time you see me um, will be when Power of the Doctor comes out, I think, so that's very exciting. I was in the UK too, just joking, no worries, no worries, sometimes you do just get people in America saying like morning, so I was just clarifying, but yeah, I was watching the live stream earlier, yes, I did watch the live stream, um, for those of you who don't know, uh, BBC Doctor Who posted a live stream going through all the Doctor's regenerations, I must say, it was an odd choice, given the fact that we've already had them individually uploaded, so doing a live stream as well feels a little bit superfluous, but... There we are. I kind of get it if it was um, running concurrently with the episode, so that, you know, if, if it was like the new regeneration dropped as the episode came out, that would be pretty cool. But no, it was just a compilation, as if we don't have like a, a billion other compilations of the regenerations even just released, you know, over the last few days. They posted the 12 Doctor Regeneration after that live. They did. They did do that. But I mean, like, it would probably be cooler if they did it so that it was, like, you know, immediately it would go into um, Jodie's. You've been so fun to watch whilst uh, waiting for tomorrow. Thanks for the fun, bro. No worries. I'll be honest. Um, You guys have made the wait for me. You guys, you know, you've um, you've uh, brought, you've made it exciting for me as well. Because, you know, after Legend of the Sea Devils, obviously we have 60th building. And incidentally, we have a couple of bits of new footage to go over on that front. But um, in terms of, uh, you know, this whole gap, ever since about the summer, there's not really been much to, you know, get from, like, in terms of Doctor Who stuff to get excited about, really. I mean, obviously, we had the 60th filming in the summer, but after that, it was pretty dead. So um, I've just enjoyed just uh, chilling out, you know, whatever news we have, just covering it, discussing it. It's been really fun. So I thank you all for being on that journey with me. That's been nice. That's been real nice. But yeah, shall we get into some news? I guess the first thing I want to talk about... Um, hey, Therese, I'm so excited. You know what? I am too. I think this episode, you know, whilst it's almost definitely going to have its flaws, because let's face it, what episode doesn't, but also just with how much it's got to deal with, equally, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't excited to see it all play out. At this point, I'm just going to go in, you know, hoping for the best, and just, just try to enjoy it as best I can, really. Because at this point, you know, we've got the new era coming up, and again, we'll be talking about that in due course. So at this point, I'm just going to try and enjoy that for what it is, and just, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's probably, isn't it one of the longest episodes in, like, in the show's history? Um, so that's cool, you know, it, it should placate, placate us a bit longer until whenever the next 60th thing is. I have a theory that popped into my mind the other day. What if Ruth was given false memories and so was Jodie? Interesting. I don't know how much is realistically going to be done with the memories in, in this episode. Uh, it will have falls, but it will also have Ace. <clears throat> so hopefully it evens out. Yeah, exactly. Ace is great. And I mean, also just like, you know for a fact, it's going to be a whirlwind. But at least I, I can see myself being entertained by it, even if it does have flaws. You know what I mean? Like... Is there a trailer or is there just speculation? They recently released a trailer of um, regener like regeneration as a concept and it culminated in um, Power of the Doctor stuff. I, I don't want to show all of it because copyright and stuff. We might as well get into that. There, there is indeed a trailer so that they made a little regeneration trailer on 
on the YouTube channel and, and, and the Twitter, of course. Before anyone gets at me for saying, oh, it's not a trailer then, they've called it a regeneration trailer, so it counts in my book. Um, but yeah, this was a really cool trailer. Personally, um, if you haven't seen it, I would recommend it. It's been one of my re like one of my favourite trailers in recent years. I think it's been really well edited. But um, the major thing that I, I wanted to point out here, if I can skip without turning on the volume because I don't want to get claimed. Um, please, BBC, don't claim me. That would be great. Um, there's a line here that I found very interesting. So they they deliberately have a um you know a bit where uh, Hartnell goes one day I shall come back. In fact, I can put subtitles on, can I? Yeah. So he puts one one day I shall come back, and then it flashes to uh, David Bradley and the curator. Now that's interesting to me because I made the link on Twitter earlier on. Uh, I said call it projection if you like, but with how much the return of past incarnations has been emphasised in recent promo material. I think Tenant will definitely be seen at the end. And obviously we had, if you remember, we had that little PSA they did on, on regeneration, which by the way, again, some really nice content to do with regeneration. They said, oh, you know, sometimes faces can be revisiting old ones. So in the promotion for this episode, they really seem to be reminding people, hey, this is a thing that can happen. Time Lords can become their past selves. And like, you know, you might be able to say that that's a bit of a, you know, again, like like I said, you can call it projection if you like, but I don't know, I just feel like it, it wouldn't be emphasised as heavily as this, you know, was it not for the fact that I, I reckon we're going to see Tenet at the end. I reckon it's a way of making sure, you know, planting that idea in the audience that that's going to happen. But yeah, that was a really cool trailer, and if you haven't seen it in full, I would recommend it. It's on the, the Doctor Who uh, YouTube channel, as well as the Twitter, and basically all their social media. They've been doing some really nice stuff for the regeneration, it has to be said. Oh, the chat has paused for me. I hope you can all still hear me. That's weird. Is it saying top chat or live chat? I'm going to see if I can fix that. Speak if you can still hear me. Um, I'll see just live chat. Maybe that fixes it. Oh, there we are. Uh, there we are. For some reason, my chat didn't refresh. Hope to see David tomorrow. I reckon we will. Yeah, you're being heard. Good, good. I think what it was is because my for some reason my chat settings were set to um, top chat rather than live chat, so it was like filtering out the messages, which it kind of sets to automatically, somewhat annoyingly. Um, oh, Jack Wolf's here. Hi, Jack Wolf. How you doing? Uh, it's the end, but the moment is being prepared for. Yes, I love that that's the line they used for the for the trailer. I thought that was a really nice use of it. Hi, Therese. I really appreciate you and your coverage for the special and the 60th. Do you think the Bob Watch will be brought up in tomorrow's episode? I feel like it will be brought up. I don't know whether the, the memories will play as big of a role as I think some people might think that they will. But I, I could see it being brought up. I could see it being brought up. I would like to see the classic Doctors. That's been speculated for a while admittedly right with the with the classic doctor rumor there's not been a whole lot of like actual tangible evidence to suggest it beyond just you know the odd uh, leak slash rumor as well as um obviously the facebook page um showing them all in a hotel in cardiff being i believe it was sylvester mccoy colin baker and david bradley respectively all in a hotel together around the time that uh, power of the doctor was filming now the official reasoning given for this was that they were filming for, I believe, some sort of documentary. But, um, you know, I, they could always pop up. I'm not going to rule it out. McC McCoy semi-confirmed it in a video. If you're if you're referring to the, com the Comic-Con video, kind of, but then equally, it's also equally possible that Sylvester could have just met Jodie on the convention circuit. So I'm not taking that as 100% confirmation. But I, I also wouldn't be surprised if it did happen. Do you know what I mean? Like, I'm sort of, you know, I could see it happening, but I'm not, like, 100%. At least Power of the Doctor probably won't be as boring as all the other ship, ship and finales. Um, yeah, yeah, no. I. It's not going to be, it's not going to be a Legend of the Sea Devils. I could see it being more of a Revolution of the Daleks, if that makes sense. Where Revolution, I have a lot of issues with. I think it is quite messy. But I'd be lying if I said I wasn't, you know, engaged by it, I think is probably the right word. Like, I was, you know, I wasn't bored. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be like that. There could be a parody, uh, like the Five-ish Doctors. If that was going to happen, Renee Monkeo, I reckon that would be probably next year. 
the stream earlier got 2,280 viewers by the end, quite good, not gonna lie. Are you on about the, the regeneration one they did on the YouTube channel? Yeah, that is quite good considering it, it is, again, just um, footage. Maybe it's just the gimmick of having all the regenerations coming up live. Maybe some people thought that they might see Jodie's at the end, but yeah. Yeah, so let's actually get into some of the 60th stuff, because I want to talk about that. So um, yeah, I guess we've uh, we've held it off for long enough. Um, let me uh, just... So this originated... So the, the footage that I'm about to show originated on an Instagram account, I believe, called uh, Nardole Who. And the footage itself, actually, I still believe it's old footage. It was taken in, in the summer. I think May was when it was said. And the, the Instagram account who posted this got permission from a friend who was actually there to post it. And then they then gave permission to everyone else to post it to Twitter. So you may have seen a few of these videos doing the rounds. And uh, yeah, I'm going to talk about these. Uh, obviously, they're not massive, but it's just cool to have some new 60th footage, even though we are months and months removed from um, 60th filming itself. Also, there's 135 of you in here. And uh, if we could get to 100 likes, that'd be greatly appreciated. If you're new, be greatly appreciated. And also, obviously, super chats are always available, but not essential. You know, it's just it's just a nice gesture. I'm so excited for tomorrow. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's just nice to get some new content. I think, to be honest, you know. Um, so yeah, um, I'm getting these from Confused Alipers. He's the one who has reposted them all together. Obviously, first off, we have this image, which is what I use for the thumbnail. And this image is given further context in the video that I'm about to show. But obviously, as you can see, it's David Tank Casper Tate signing a fan's shirt uh, with the caption, Ain't no way, they're just in our front room. And then we have this shot, which is uh, only a few seconds long. Um, I'm going to turn up the desktop audio volume just a smidge. So uh, it's quite small, so I apologize for that. But obviously, you know, it was filmed on like phones. Uh, you know, half a year ago, so. So, yeah, you could see him talking to, you know, someone off set there, basically, you know, lining up the shot. So, um, I think there's another uh, angle of this shot, I think. But what this is, I'll, I'll see if I can show the, the other shot um or whether that's in here as well yeah no it actually pans around so you can see so um I'll, I'll let it play through anyway but i'll explain what just happened there uh, like some sort of football commentator i guess um so what this seems to be is an extension of the episodes we've already seen you can also see there if you uh, pause it very briefly you can actually see uh what we believe to be the wraith warriors uh that was obviously speculated you go back months ago the wraith warriors and beef the meep are the speculated one of the speculated villains for the 60th anniversary which are uh comic villains along with celestial toy maker who we assume is who neil patrick harris is playing but what this seems to be if you remember that filming months ago um you'll rec you'll recall that a lot of the scenes involved uh a lot of the public scenes involved the cast being driven around in a taxi Presumably driven by Sean Temple Noble, as apparently that is his job. Um, so you've got, while piling into that taxi there, you've got Dave Tan, Catherine Tate, Yasmin Finney, who's playing Rose, who we believe to be Donna's daughter. You've got Sylvia Noble, and you've got um, Sean Temple, as uh, previously stated there. So yeah, that's a cool little scene. There is a, um, a picture here as well. Another, like, sort of a close look at the Wraith Warriors. You can sort of see, this looks like another angle of the the um, the sort of explosions we've seen previously. The scale of this episode, even through just uh, grainy, grainy images, already looks really big, which really excites me. I, I, there's a lot of explosions and stuff. It all looks very exciting. And then there's another um, shot of a similar clip here. Uh, so I'll play that. So yeah, this seems to be, you know, another take of the same shot, basically. They're all running into a taxi. You could just sort of imagine the Murray Gold music over the top of this, can't you? Obviously, this is mostly being hidden by uh, people here, but yeah. There's another shot of the same scene. And then below, you've got the clip that uh, has gone a little bit viral in um, Doctor Who fandom spaces. Mainly because it's just uh, very funny. Oh, I got the wrong tab. So yeah, as I... Um, 
as I alluded to earlier, the first picture was the crew signing a fan's top, and the dialogue uh, in this exchange is pretty hilarious, so I'm going to just uh, play this now. That's, that's all mine. <laughs> <laughs> well. Twat in the hat! So for context, there's been a lot of abuse written on this guy's shit, you know, for fun, and um, <laughs> David Tennant's... <laughs> Sort of pointing that out. Skill messages. <laughs> no, don't eat them with me. There's so many. I think I know we all know what that is. <laughs> I, I just went round. I, I, I went round town and I was just asking people to sign my shirt. To, to sign the right abuse to you on your shirt. Oh, I, I, thought, I thought I took it as apparently. What's your name? I'm Will. Will. Yeah. Happy birthday, Will. Thank you. Oh, yeah, apparently it was his birthday as well. Thank you. So, yeah, this, this clip is just fantastic. It, it, makes, it made me laugh a lot um just with the dryness that like and the the sort of um like the pitch of his voice when he goes twat in the hat what's that it's like it's just it's a very funny clip um yeah so that's just a little taste of um some 60th anniversary stuff yes strictly is on doctor is strictly doctor who is on right now obviously i can't watch it but if there's any updates from that i might as well show it um, because I know that that's happening now, isn't it? Um, people, I don't doubt people will have just... Oh, there we are. Here's a screenshot of Strictly, of them all gathering around the TARDIS. We, I believe that's probably the prop that they use, the, the obviously the Wick prop that's also being used in the anniversary. Honestly, you know what? They've actually, this is such a nerdy point, but they've got white windows here. And I actually kind of prefer the windows when they're illuminated white rather than yellow. That's such a nerdy point. But I, I genuinely do slightly prefer that um, lighting style. Um, I don't know whether there's been any clips posted of the actual exchange. Or we've just got... There we are. We've just got the, the final of the um, countdown posts of the Doctors. Obviously, we'll have 13s tomorrow. But this is the last non-13 post, Peter Capaldi's. Uh, laugh hard, run fast, be kind, Doctor, I let you go. So undoubtedly soon we will find out who the... what the next lines are. I don't know what I was trying to say then. But yeah, uh, if there's any more stuff from Strictly, I will, I'll cover that. What's Strictly I'm unaware? Yeah, I just realised the sort of Americans or just anyone who's, you know, not really familiar with, with Strictly, that might sort of, um, that might be lost on them. Basically, it's a, a dance competition in, like, the UK. It's like ballroom sort of thing, but they'll they'll sort of do, I mean, I'm not an expert on Strictly, but you'll have, like, couples, and they'll do, like, themed weeks. So this week's theme, obviously, because it's 100 years of the BBC, you've got them doing a bunch of dances to iconic uh, British, not British, BBC themes, and one of which, obviously, being Doctor Who, I think, there's a bunch of others that were also on there, but Doctor Who's the main one that we know. Um, I did see a, a little screenshot. I think it was, I think it was Chloe who posted it of what the costumes actually looked like. Apparently, it was the Doctor like and a weeping angel. Uh, so I'm gonna just um, see if I can get that. And the Doctor costume is interesting because it's kind of a, a weird blend of um, <laughs> the. A bunch of like previous aesthetics um you know along with its own style so yeah there's this one so these were them getting ready so i'm just gonna i'm stealing this from chloe that on twitter yeah you can see this is the costume they went with for the doctor and weeping angel here so that's interesting i mean last time they did a strictly crossover thing it was um the 13th doctor and a cyberman doing like what was it like a waltz or a tango i'm not sure i don't know dances but yeah that's what that looks like if there's any more screenshots of that Anyone finds interesting, feel free. Um, hello, Bert Saxon, how you doing? How you doing? You alright? Love the red outfit. Um, he, I, I yeah, I quite, I quite like the red actually. Yeah, it's nice. That shirt will wind up on eBay. What the David Tennant shirt? Can I be really honest? Since we're talking about costumes, I want to say something because we just covered the the filming stuff uh, that has recently been released via Instagram. I honestly, like, and we haven't even seen it, like, you know, in good quality yet. Like, we haven't had, like, a proper uh, image of it. But I genuinely believe that um, Tennant's new blue suit 
might be not only my, like my favorite of his looks, but one of my favorite Doctor looks in general. I don't know. There's something about the more mature tartan patterning on the the um, the main suit part, as well as the the blue coat that I just think works so well. I I think it works fantastically, and I I genuinely can't wait to actually see it in good quality. It might be one of my favorite like you know costume variants the Doctor's ever worn. Look at the Doctor YouTube channel. Is anything new being posted over there? I know that I I posted I talked briefly about the trailer that was posted earlier. Is something else? Something else happened that I missed. I'll double check, but I don't think there is. Yeah, no, there's. I don't think there's anything new uh, at the moment, other than what I've already covered, of course. But yes, um, I suppose we better get into uh, what you call it. Uh, that we the next article because we actually do have a couple of articles and bits and bobs to go over. So, whew, uh, <laughs> also by the way, if you're enjoying the stream, feel free to like, subscribe if you're new, and obviously super chats are available. I say it every now and again just so that people know uh, about all the stuff. But yes, um, so Jody Whittaker, if I don't go back to Doctor Who, I'll be devastated. Jody Whittaker talks to Radio Times Magazine about leaving Doctor Who and maybe coming back. Nobody likes goodbyes, but when you're uh, and when you're an in uh, oh my god I can't read that word when you're an inever when you're an in inveterate weeper like Jodie Whittaker I don't know why I struggled so much with that the kind of person who can barely get through a Christmas advert without sniffles endings are unbearable I am that person she says I cry I cry if someone else cries I'm not even upset so my last scene that last day it was so emotional. That last day was Wicker's final day as the Doctor. Doctor Who isn't always shot in scene order. A finale can just as well be filmed on day one. Interestingly, I believe Capaldi's final scene was also the last scene he shot. So uh, that was one of the few times as well. Incidentally, with Regeneration, I think they like to film that last bit last. Just as a nice bit of closure. Or at least in recent years they do that. Because I'm pretty sure I remember a Moffat interview where he said that the same was done for Capaldi. So yeah. That's a nice bit of uh, synergy, I guess. Um, so, uh, but in this case, the regeneration scene was filmed, the last thing she filmed as the time-travelling Time Lord. I don't know why it says time-travelling Time Lord. You could have just said, I don't know, time-travelling Time Lord. I just don't like how time is used twice. That is incredibly nitpicky, but I'm going to say it anyway. 90% of, uh, of the last day I was in bits, she says. It's the best job I've ever done, and I've loved every second of it. But it was the right time. It was like giving yourself uh, stitches. You know you need to do it, but it feels like shit. Uh, and so she cried a lot. Jodie Whittaker is by her own admission, emotional person, full of smiles, tears, as this interview, uh, and as in this interview, near constant laughter. I'm always on the brink of tears, and I've had the constant, uh, and I've had to contain that play in this character more than I do most characters I've played. Usually being on the brink is like my winning ticket. With the Doctor, I'm much happier, she says, with jazzed hands, than I normally am. Whittaker credits departing Jodie Christianel, who also wrote series Broad Church for bringing out the royal Jody. For a long time, I don't know, I don't think anyone knew that I had a Yorkshire accent and laughed a lot. Uh, had Chris not been the person to give me this job, I don't think I'd have ever been seen for it. Chibnall got to know Whittaker through, through Broad Church, etc, etc. Um... He saw the person in between the takes when she wasn't performing the troubled person. That person is, by her own description, a bit fidgety, a bit twitchy, doesn't sit still, tries to have 15 conversations, but doesn't quite get to the end of any of them, uh, winds, up, uh, winds up everyone because I'm really exhausting and I don't know when to shut up. It's true, uh, the real Jodie does talk, uh, does, uh, the real Jodie does talk a dime a dozen, spiralling off an errant TARDIS-style tangents, uh, that are both maddening, fascinating, uh, raging from her terrible handwriting and anecdote about spiders or her well-documented love of cold play. Um, there is an interesting quote, I think it is at the end, um, talking about, I think, Russell T. Davis and, like, returning. So, yeah, yeah, well, stay tuned for that. One thing she loves about Dr. Who is passing the torch and uh, it, that it legitimizes this level of discussion. This is the only job where you get to go to the next person. Can I just tell you what I think? Whether they want it or not, David Tennant, Matt Smith, Peter Capaldi never tried to say to me, this is what it's going to be like. 
Uh, but the one headline they all said was, it's like nothing you've ever done. So uh, what I would say to shooting out with a new doctor is to just be really in the moment. I realized within an hour of starting that it was going to be, it was good, that I was going to have the time of my life. She says that although she hasn't actually met Gatwa in person yet, this is basically just the same thing about how uh, she's spoken to him a few times. She delivers the line with thunderous expletive, and I tell her that it's so funny to hear which swear. In fact, she swears quite a lot. Why do you think I have to pick up? Uh, why do you why do you have to pick up on one of my falls? She starts laughing when I'm at work. I'm a nightmare, especially when I forgot a line. It really rolls off the tongue. It's like beep beep beep. It's only striking. We haven't heard her much swear before. She is, after all, the Doctor, the lead role of a BBC program that brings with it its ambassadorial brief. Uh, there's a scrutiny that comes with the job with Whitaker. It came from the moment she was announced. And I think, yeah, we, we read this bit before about um, the pressures of the job. Um, I just want to sort of skip to the end a bit. I said, so in terms of um, whenever she does return to work, she has the satisfaction of knowing that she won't be repeating herself. There's no other character quite like the Doctor, and she knows old Doctor's never retired. David Tennant, for example, is back for next year's uh, 60th anniversary celebrations. I said to new showman Russell T. Davis, don't ever think of it as being too soon, she says. If I'm not asked back, I will be devastated. I know it might be a few years, but Russell knows I'm going to be like a little terrier at his heels. So yeah, it's um an interesting, I guess, novelty, um, or I guess um sort of thing that's different about Whitaker as opposed to previous incarnations. With a lot of previous incarnations, there's kind of been this sense of like, will they come back, won't they? Like Capaldi, for example, you kind of get the sense that he's done, which is perfectly fine, by the way, and I'm not um um you know saying that's wrong. But I think, you know, it's interesting having a doctor that is so like ready just just to see like um you know just to be back that's a really interesting thing and i i i, I know a lot of people have been joking about big finish as well i honestly wouldn't be surprised if in like a matter of weeks she's announced to be doing big finish just because she seems to not want to stop playing this role so that's quite nice you know and I, I would be interested to see what big finish would do with her yeah she's definitely doing big finish at some point that's an inevitability how long are you hoping RTD stays as showrunner? Um, well, I mean, we know it's at least two series. Honestly, I could have him forever, but like at this stage, I think three series is, is a good sort of barometer. Like I know that that's kind of the default answer, but like given that we already know it's two, I think three is probably, you know, how much you could expect. I've also seen someone say that they've uploaded Strictly Dance on Twitter, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, cover that in just a second, but yeah. I think maybe a year or two before we get the first 13 box set. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty close. Basically, as soon as they can, they will, I think. Um so yeah, let's have a look at that strictly dance, shall we? I assume it's being uploaded on uh the strictly Twitter. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Um what would it be on Strictly's Twitter, I assume, right? Are we getting Murray Gold back? We don't know yet, 100% uh, either way. I would like him to, but we don't know 100% uh, yes or no yet. Also, could we get to uh, 100 likes? If we haven't already, that'd be greatly appreciated. We're on 161 people now, which is great. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, if you haven't liked the stream, it'd be greatly appreciated if you did. Um, let me just see if I can find this clip now. Um... Okay, apparently someone's retweeted it for me, so I'll just, um, I'll double check that. Oh, I like this. Okay, so this is all the Weeping Angels, um, stood around the towers. That is a cool shot. I don't watch Strictly, but that's cool. And then apparently, yeah, the clip is here. Um, it's only 30 seconds long, so I should be able to show it. BBC, please don't blame me. Um, I'll turn down the, the output a little bit so you guys can, um, in fact uh see it um actually i realize i'm gonna get claimed if i show much of this uh you know what i'll just show it with very 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 like no audio i'll just show a little bit because i know for a fact the thing and i like the uh this end bit here where did, how did they come in so um 
he goes into the TARDIS. I just want to know how the Weeping Angels factor in. Because they were there initially. Okay, they're just... Okay, yeah. They, they just appear. That's cool. I just like that the TARDIS windows are white. I don't know what it is. I mean, in fact, you know what? I'm just going to tweet that. I'm going to tweet that I like the TARDIS windows are white. <laughs> if he's touching a Weeping Angel, shouldn't he be sent back in time? That doesn't seem right. Oh my god. Strictly's Doctor Who pastiches in canon. It's not accurate. Cancel them. That would be a good shooty outfit. Yeah, it's probably a bit too much of a hodgepodge of previous like, outfits to be the official one. But for a um, a strictly, um, you know, a strictly sort of parody, I guess, of, of, um, of Doctor Who, I think it works really well. Um, I'm just going to quickly post this. Um, why can't I do a screenshot? You tell you what, it's always annoying. You can never do these things when you want to do them. That's my OBS. That's not what I want. Um, oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll just steal it from someone else. They won't do it. Do do do. Uh, side note, but this TARDIS looks even better with white windows. I don't know what it is, it just looks more, you know, it just looks like it matches better. I think it glows in like a really cool way. Do do do. There we are, just done it. Caught in 10 AP thief. What are you going to do about it? No. Uh, where do I place the Strictly Cup uh, dancing on the Doctor Who timeline? Is it Strictly Doctor pre Hartnell or future incarnation? Up to interpretation. <laughs> Up to interpretation at this stage. Um, uh, yeah, there was also... Um, actually, let me make sure I've got everything. Yeah, Jodie Whittaker on leaving. We covered that. And then there was also this um, brief snippet from Chris Chibnall. So he was asked the question in a total tv guide of um you know did did you write power of the doctor or like you know did you uh, what was the original question they asked so if it was true he wrote power of the doctor in the understanding it might be the conclusion of the show for now and he said your question is quite binary but it wasn't as binary as that i wasn't entirely sure what would be happening uh, coming up next but no i don't think you're going to look at this and go this feels like an end i'm going to say this real quick I think had, because we know for a fact, right, that I think it's been pretty confident, I think it's, we can pretty confidently state at this stage that the, the, what do you call it, like the Bad Wolf team have come and basically used, they've filmed an extra scene, right, for the centenary. Had that not been the case, I fully would have expected, you know, a fade to black, something similar to survival. But um, I think what makes it not an ending is probably that extra scene that they've made um, for for Power of the Doctor that I think is pretty confident, like, we have got, because they keep editing bits out. So yeah, that, that'd, be my, that'd be my statement on that. So I think he might have initially intended it to be as such had there not been more plans, but obviously, you know there were so like it was made so it could be an ending hypothetically if nothing was added but also if something was added on it would also make sense i guess oh yeah no it does have white windows in power apparently yeah um but most of the time like nine times out of ten they're in um they're in yellow so i definitely prefer them in white Also, according to the Sun, the um, the Sun magazine, the Sun TV mag uh, apparently teases the return of some old faces who were extremely excited about, but also sworn to secrecy in its preview for tomorrow's special. So, yeah, according to because obviously we know a lot of the uh, the tabloid newspapers have had um, previews of the special. There are more surprise faces that we haven't seen yet in it. So, I mean, I'm still of the belief that um, this companion support group, which we know is a thing now because of um, John Bishop's interview where he mentions it. 
I could definitely see that being the narrative of device to get some more companion cameos. I can see Atomai spamming eight. Obviously, I said earlier on in the stream, I'm not going to rule out classic Doctor uh, cameos because, um, you know, they very well could happen. There's been a lot of rumours to say that they will. At the same time, I don't think there's as much in terms of concrete, like, evidence. Oh, I, I did look at your tweet, Banders. I just I just spoke to um, someone about it uh, in chat. But yes, um, you know, in terms of, what you call it? What am I trying to say? What were we just talking about before that? I've just lost my train of thought. Damn you, Vanders. Yeah, in terms of classic Doctors, there's less actual evidence for it. At the same time, I'm not ruling it out. Whereas with classic companions, I mean, not only is there precedent for it within the episode, but the framing device of, hey, the companions have, like, a support group, it makes it a very, you know, an easy way to justify having classic companions pop up, is basically what I'm trying to say. Do, do, do. And then um, there was also a uh, another tease from Doctor Who magazine as well, um, saying, uh, "Don't forget the power of the Doctor is on BBC One at seven thirty. You've seen if you once you've seen the episode, please email us. So they want you know thoughts and artwork. Some of the best will be in the next very special issue of DWM. So this is the second time that they've um, hinted at you know a very special next issue. They also hashtagged it shooty, interestingly enough." which is which i find interesting you know i definitely think we're going to get some major stuff in that november issue whether that's going to be you know mainly tenant stuff shooting stuff a combination of the two i'm not sure but it's definitely looking like we're going to get some big stuff next month we also know i think it's been sort of heavily implied through cvs and things that shooting series begins filming in november so they could well very be they could well much there yeah, there could very well be a lot going on in november as well as, as this month um, as well, so yeah, that's really cool. It looks so much, uh, you know, <laughs> so far, but let's take that up to the 11. Yeah, that's kind of my mentality. It probably is gonna have a lot going on, but I don't know. I feel like I might, you know, just I'm just gonna like enjoy it in quite a you know, just I'm just gonna hope for the best, you know, maybe enjoy it in a mindless way. Praying for a cross tube leak in November. I think it would be officially announced before it got leaked. I think they would definitely announce it before they were filming publicly with him. Like, the, Russell knows how to play the game. He would want to maximise the, you know, the opportunity to uh, drum up some more hype before it was leaked. That's a certainty. I mean, it's the same thing with, um, you know, Tenant, uh, the, the announcement of Tenant, where it's like, we had that, and then the following day, literally, he was on set. You know, they want to they wanna capitalise on, on the hype before things come out. And you've got to remember as well, that was like Russell T. Davis in conservative mode in terms of, you know, being reserved and making sure that, you know, he didn't take the spotlight from Jody. How do you think it's going to be when this episode comes out tomorrow and the chains are off? He can say whatever. He is the man in charge of Doctor Who from that point. So he can basically say whatever, you know. So I think we're going to get a lot of stuff, you know, officially announced before it even has the chance to leak in this era. If we don't get a teaser after power, we will get one on the 23rd. I mean, it really depends, like, when the next one is, in terms of, like, you know, when the next special actually is. Because we don't know 100%, you know, when it's going to be. But, yeah, no, I hope that... What do you call it? Um, I hope that we get... I hope it would be nice to see a teaser for the 60th soon, but I'm not going to go uh, in, if in the end of power, I should say. But I'm not going to go in with that expectation purely because I don't want to get my hopes up. I am expecting to see, you know, one of the doctors at the end, most probably Tannant. Um, that picture of the next Doctor Who annual TARDIS didn't look different. Oh, are you, t are you referring to um, the, the 2023 annual? I mean, yeah. I mean, the David Tennant in the filming pictures is using the Jodie box. Personally, I wouldn't mind the Jodie box being used moving forward. I think it's probably one of the nicest looking police boxes we've had. I just prefer it with the, the white lying as opposed to the yellow, personally.
A uh, question for you. Is Journey's regeneration into David Tennant counted as the 16th regeneration? Oh, well, that's a whole discussion in itself. Um, <laughs> uh, well, okay, so you've got the main 13, John Hurt, so that's 14. Well, if the main 13 ends, yeah, so you got, I guess it would be the 15th, right? Imagine if GWN just has a cover this month with 14, 10, 11, and 8. I would spontaneously combust. Oh man, can you imagine? Because, like, they did say, like, it's an exclusive big thing as well, so who knows, honestly? I could see us really getting fed next month if Shooty is indeed filming. We've got that big magazine coming up. Um, it would make sense for them to drop his, like, costume at that point. Maybe even if he is filming, companion reveals. Uh, trouble is that we're still under the current production run. This episode is... They've been helpless at promotion and trailers, so if anything, uh, for the specials. Well, I mean, that's the thing, though. As far as it's worked in the past, once, I, I mean, that changeover happens in terms of, like, obviously, I remember with Capaldi's, basically, they had both of the production crews, like, sort of switch over. And that's how it mostly works. And obviously, with the the scenes that are going to be at the end of power again presumably because we don't know for 100 percent. but given that they've cut bits off the runtime i feel like it's a safe assumption from what we understand they were filmed you know separately by bad wolf later on so it's not too far-fetched to me for them to be like hey we filmed this extra bit after the regeneration that you can just stick on the on the end of the episode because as far as i know what you call it um oh yeah david Rege oh yeah the meta crisis yeah, no. I mean, to be fair, I never counted that pre-Time of the Doctor, but I guess it does count. So, yeah, I guess we are on the 16th. Um, but, yeah, I, I think that if if Russell has filmed something at that point, it, like, he can just be like, can you put this in? Because we know that he's seen the, the centenary multiple times and that Kim and Chibnall have conferred on it. So it wouldn't surprise me if he has prepared a little something for the end but obviously at the same time i'm not saying that's happening for definite i am saying um you know it could happen i can confirm that journey's regeneration on the cliff includes uh graham coming out of nowhere and, and to declare that she is in fact doing it mate <laughs> very nice yeah that's another interesting thing like how is Graham going to factor into all of it? Because, like, we have not seen anything of Bradley Walsh. Like, he's not even been officially confirmed to be in the episode, despite the fact that we know that he is. So, as Jim Martin's Doctor, there is, is the 15th. Yeah, but what I think people are saying is we haven't had a regeneration for Jim Martin, though. So, like, it's still 15 or 16 regenerations total, because we haven't seen either, you know, how... The Doctor gets to Jo Martin or how she regenerates out of being Jo Martin. So right now it is still 16 regenerations for a total of... Um, I don't count... Do you count the Meta Crisis as a separate incarnation or just another regeneration? So I don't count him as a separate incarnation. So 13 and then obviously... So uh, or as of right now, we've got 13 uh, mainline incarnations plus John Hurt and Jo Martin. That makes 15 canonical like main incarnations plus john hurt and jim martin with a total of 16 regenerations i think that's right rtd to Moffat did that then when the time part two finished there wasn't an next time trailer in the episode it aired as a separate advert after the end credits finished i mean maybe they could do it like that i i definitely think even if it's not directly like after it will be soon after they'll never hire me i'm too talented creative for the bbc <laughs> oh He's going to do the shop to shuffle. Yeah, I am interested to see how they factor Graham into it. Um, yeah. But uh, there, were, there are a couple other things I wanted to go over, actually. There's two more things. So there's also been a tease. I might as well, since we were on the David Tennant topic, I thought might as well uh, cover this. So apparently there's been a tease for some more exciting David Tennant audios that are apparently going to be announced on Monday. Man, it's going to be mad if, like, if, like, Tennant you know, it gets regenerated into in um, in power, and then the day after, they're like, come by the new big finishes um, of the 10th Doctor. It's going to be, it's going to be 10th Doctor Central. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty exciting. And then we also have, there was an interview that um, Mandip Gill and Judy Whitaker were on with Carol Vorderman 
or uh, BBC Radio Wales, and uh, the topic of Thousbin is brought up. So, uh, and I just thought their their answer. I mean, it doesn't elicit much, but it, you know, people have been talking about it. So, I thought I might as well give you the full run news rundown. Uh, so here we go. Um, I'll just uh, do this and then do that. Wait, actually, let me make sure that my sound is actually on because I think I did it off the strictly thing, so I didn't get claimed. Um, but then there is so much heart in yeah. in this feature length episode. I think it's wonderful. Well, you're talking about heart because we've already learned that Yaz has feelings for the doctor. So is she, is she going to be able to express them before the doctor has her regen, darling? Who knows? <laughs> yes, they basically... <laughs> just, oh, they, they, they avoid the question, oh, basically. Tyler. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> <That's shit>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think the thing is that what we've we've loved is that for, we've just we were chatting about this earlier that for as a, um, a doctor and a companion we yeah. as is the first one we think and maybe we're going to get Hoovy and tell us that we're wrong that the we start in the the same episode and we leave in the same episode so I, to, I think that is accurate right that's the only time that's happened i mean the closest would be jamie mccrimmon um with two but even then i think obviously you have uh power of the daleks without him and then he gets introduced in the highlanders i want to say so using some you know if i'm wrong feel free to correct me but i think know, i'm we, right we we do this full circle together and i think then the journey of the doctor and yaz it's such a beautiful complement to that so yeah, there you go. So that's basically what they say about it. I, I've sort of, I don't know how they're gonna do like thousand and what they're gonna do with it because like, because it it sort of occurred to me that like with Legend of the Sea Devils, it kind of felt like they were, you know, putting it back in the box, being like, hey, you know, this is a thing, but also yeah, I don't really want to move it uh, forward, but then equally. At the same time, I don't know. Maybe I have seen some people speculate that it could work similarly to um, the the bad wolf scene where you have, you know, the the tenth doctor, the ninth doctor. Sorry, kiss for oh, we actually have a new picture. I'll go over that. Uh, we have the because it's actually oh wow, it's twenty four hours to go, folks. I haven't even got a drink, but cheers, chin chin. There you go. Pay so I can hydrate myself, please. I'm desperate. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, what you call it? In terms of Thousand though, I really don't know how they're going to end it because it implies that it's been bookended in Legend of the Sea Devils, but then equally I could see, as I said, like something like with Bad Wolf where it's like, you know, there's a reason why, it's sci-fi reason why a kiss has to happen or something. I could see that happening. It's not even water. It's nothing. I mean, there was some Pepsi in there, but it's gone. Uh, if they don't do anything with Thurston, just like they're not going to, to finish the Tom Starlight. I mean, yeah, it's, th that, that's the thing. There was already a lot of questions before we uh, like started getting new, um, new like stuff added in. So I'm I am curious as to see which bits are going to get the focus and which bits aren't. That's going to be interesting. But yeah, we have got a new image released by uh the doctor who account to um to mark 24 hours to go uh it's a very you know it's a very non-descript image again it kind of gives end of like you know era vibes but that could kind of be said you feel you know virtually any of these images to be fair i i do like the way the tardis is lit in this scene for a lot of the time it's really overly yellow but they've got a nice sort of um sort of blue red contrast going on and it sort of looks quite dark she seems happy so yeah don't know what the context of that is perhaps it is a case of um you know her one last triumphant look at the tardis before she steps out to regenerate i think i would like a more triumphant regeneration you know shave darius is smooth darius thank you i think i would like a more triumphant regeneration because like i don't know I don't want a big long speech personally. I've said that before. Yeah, like, I don't want a big long speech. I I I want something a bit more brief. Um, I mean, obviously that could you know just be any scene, but it does give end of era vibes. Um, to me, nice gloomy lighting, very foreboding. Yeah, that's what I think is giving it to. Like, yeah, I actually really like the way it's like lit here. 
because I think sometimes this 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 era has a really weird thing with its color and lighting, where it'll either be like super bright and like super, you know, they'll turn up the saturation, or it'll be the opposite, where it's like sort of dim and um, sort of washed out looking. But that's like that that even though it's just a promotional image, it looked like a nice balance, I think. Um, I think Chibnall did say it's going to be emotional. Yeah. Although, to be fair, he did say the same about Revolution, and I've said, um, what you call it, that, you know, I don't really find the Revolution exit that emotional. I hope that there is something a bit more... I don't know. I don't, I don't think any of them are going to die, even though I kind of want a death, because we haven't had one properly in Doctor Who, New Who at this point. I know people are going to point to, like, you know, Clara or Bill, but they've always had some sort of, you know, because of the way Moffat was, like a technical reason out of it. Um, but I want, like, a proper full-on companion death. You know, I want a companion to die and, like, stay dead. You know what I mean? Like a main companion. I don't think that'll happen here, though. I just want the exit to be a bit more than just, oh, I'm going to leave, you know? I agree. I hope there isn't a big speech. Yeah. I just, I, I want it to be sort of a shorter thing, to be honest. I, I was saying in the previous stream, and um, I will say, having watched that speech of Capaldi's in isolation, it's probably not as long as I remember, but I still think it's a little bit too long. I think it's also just the fact that it comes off an episode that's like about an hour long, so you, you just feel by that point like, come on, you know, we know you're going to regenerate, you know, just do it. I think as well, because with series 10 in particular, they teased and hyped up the regeneration so, so much that by the time you get to, like, uh, twice upon a time, you're like, oh, come on, you know, just show us the next one. You know what I mean? Um, just do it. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much me with, with the twice upon a time regeneration. So I don't really want that again. You know, I want something a bit snappier. You know, it doesn't have to be, like, you know, one word, but, like, just... You know, like, I Don't Want to Go is probably still the most iconic regeneration. It's not my favourite. That one probably goes to Time of the Doctor 11's. I love Eleven speech. But, you know, I Don't Want to Go is probably the most iconic exit. It's one line. Um, you know, I wouldn't mind that being the case here. I also like that, I think, as we've shown before, with the, the one image we've seen, the leaked iTunes image, we know that the regeneration is taking place outside, which I'm very much in favour of. I think we've needed some variety when it comes to um when it comes to regeneration so i'm really glad that it's not in the tardis even though by the looks of things according to that itunes image it's literally going to be her stood outside the tardis but you know what that's still different and the cliff top it takes place on looks nice um so i'm happy to just have a different now elevens didn't feel like it was reading off a script to me elevens elevens final words felt a lot more um um to me, they felt a lot more personal and like something someone would say in death. Twelves just kind of feels a bit random in some places. Um, whereas like I think with Elevens, there's a very direct theme that is, you know, being tried to get across with that one, I feel. Um, I hope that Be Stars would have been an awesome line, but no, Twice Upon a Time had to exist. To be fair, in terms of the the line the um the regeneration in Twice Upon a Time, I'd have even taken um you know, a multitude of them, like, uh, I think one of the, the better lines, because I don't, I've never been a big fan of Doctor I Let You Go, um, I think it, it sounds a bit too much like I Don't Want to Go, and also it's just, I, I just think, like, it's more just the actor speaking than it is the character, I think I prefer One More Lifetime Won't Kill Anyone Except Me, I've always preferred that out of that speech, I feel like that should have been the final one. How is talking about being kind, being about right? It's not so much the kindness part that's random. It's like the never ever eat pears bit. And it's like children can hear your name in the stars. And like, I don't know. It just There's just some bits that I feel like you could streamline that speech significantly. And it would be more weighty. I get that Capaldi was the big grandiose speech making one. Uh, 12 says, and never ever eat pears just burst into flame. You know, I get that 12 was very much like a... I, I don't mind the line. I just, it's not my favorite. You know what I mean? I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite of the regeneration lines. Um, if Jody Reader is into 10 and his first words are, I'm back. I mean, it'll probably be what, what, what. Or I came up with this idea. Um, 
I came up with this idea the other day. Old teeth. That's weird. Um, that would also be a, a fun reference. Although I do prefer uh, what, what, what. Or just, you know, I don't know. I want there to be just more than one line from him, frankly. But I feel like what, what, what is probably what they're going to go with. Um, count how many times I've said what in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> And I'm still not ginger. <laughs> yeah. Do you actually want 13 years to kiss? I am pretty indifferent, to be honest. If it happens, you know, I'm happy for the people it means something to. I've never been a huge fan of Doctor Com like companion romances in general. But, like, I'm not really campaigning either way. I'm not like, I want it desperately. But I'm also not like... You know, if, if it happens, I'm not going to be like, oh... You know, I'll be like, yeah, fair enough. It's been in the show at this point. Matt Smith will definitely be in the 60th. I'll bet money. I wish I could, you know, be confident in that, but I don't know. I want him to be. Uh, as 12 made so many big speeches, having a short snappy line would be so much more impactful. Yeah, exactly. In fact, it's kind of a, a similar reason I kind of like Seven's regeneration, actually. Because a lot of people say, oh, but, but uh, Seven was this sort of grand, mysterious figure, and in the end, you know, he gets a sort of unceremonious death on a hospital bed. And I'm like, no, I actually kind of like that contrast. I think that's quite a nice contrast, to be fair. Uh, Therese, think about how regeneration works outside the TARDIS, Matt Smith on Trent's Law. What do you think happens with Jodie Whittaker's regeneration? A tsunami. Uh, that's a good point. I mean, I don't know how much... Because, I mean, the damage of regenerations in terms of the surroundings kind of changes. Um, one of the directors literally photoshopped him into the TARDIS, Therese. He's like, yeah, but at the same time, Russell T. Davis has been liking, you know... Uh, Instagram posts about like, I don't know um, Capaldi coming back I don't think Capaldi's coming back I just don't have I want him to be there but I'm also not getting my hopes up for it, you know what I mean um, but yeah, like the damage regenerations can do kind of varies um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting um, I personally kind of wouldn't mind a new effect but I understand why they've kept the the glowy flames because they kind of just are that most instantly recognizable like that is regeneration um sort of they, they sort of symbolize that but um yeah i you know i want him to be in it but i'm just you know i, I don't want to get my hopes up Because if you remember that one leak that we covered ages ago, the Bad Wolf 3 leak, which was right about literally everything else, you know, a while back said that it would only be Tennant. So, Tennant said there's so much we, we don't know. That is true. Again, I want to I wanna agree with you, but I also don't want to get my hopes up, you know? I'm trying to, like, keep my expectations in check. If Matt Smith does appear, however, I will, I will be beside myself. Um... <laughs> Because, as you know, he is my personal favourite. And I'm actually meeting him next month at um, at uh, London Comic Con. So, yeah. Doo -doo -doo. Let's talk about the TARDISes. What would you like? The 60th. The exterior looks the same, but the interior was dismantled. I think... That's an interesting question. I think they'll take a similar approach... In terms of the 60th specifically, I'm not talking about series 14, because I think they'll have two separate TARDISes, as in the um, the Tenant 60th TARDIS and the Shooty TARDIS. They'll be separate entities, I think. Um, what I could see them doing, the approach I could see them taking, and this is purely you know speculation on my end, I could be completely wrong, but the sort of idea I had in my head was kind of what they've done with um, Tenant's costume. Where it, like, evokes similar vibes, but might have different materials, different colours, and stuff like that. So, sort of maybe a similar shaped console room, but maybe with, like, a different material. Maybe instead of coral, maybe it could be, um, maybe, like, wooden, or maybe, like, a sort of varnish, or, like, a, you know, something like that. Um, 
and then like you know maybe instead of uh blue or green lighting they go for a, like a red i don't know i think they could do something where it's like kind of similar to like in keeping with the costume where it's sort of um uh it's like different but it evokes the same spirit is i guess what i'm trying to say but that's just my guess could be completely wrong they could just they could just do what they did for um the the day of the doctor and obviously i know that they used the the doctor experience set for for that they could just because i'm pretty sure as far as i'm aware that set still exists they could just find it and use it again and i wouldn't be opposed to that to be fair um Uh, Thary did a question I asked, and my pulse audibly quickened. Thanks, my dude. No worries. Yeah, some I've, apologies if I never see, like, if I miss some people's questions. It's just that, obviously, with the chat going as quick as it does, sometimes I miss stuff, even on slow mode. Um, but, obviously, if you do want to make sure your questions do get answered, obviously, Super Chats are the easiest way to uh, to let me um, see it. He gets hurt hardest, as in 13s. See, that would be a viable possibility, if it wasn't for the fact that we know that that TARDIS has been dismantled, like we know, you know, through several interviews, they've talked about them basically as soon as they wrap, just taking little bits off the TARDIS, um, um, you know, for for themselves. And I don't blame them. If I was in their position, I would be doing the exact same thing. Um, if anything, just to make some money off eBay, which by the way, there have been a few of those bits popping up on eBay. So someone's definitely, you know, sold them on, which is fair enough. Respect the hustle. But yeah, I do agree with the idea of no organic TARDISes. I think they will make an exception for 10, just because that's what he had in his original run. But going forward, I agree. Future of the show-wise, I agree. Uh, Shooty, I would like a more... Either a more Capaldi-type TARDIS, a more McGann-type TARDIS, or a classic-type TARDIS. Honestly, any of those three, just not... Just not organic again. We've done that a few times now. Uh, there is, I don't think... Uh, what... What, what will be used twice, because uh, it's been used twice already, what you mean in the Whitaker? I mean, yeah, but, like, it also just does make sense. I mean, the, you know, they could just, they could say something different, but I know that, like, a lot of people have speculated that that would be what they say, and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't put it past them. Are all TARDIS is grown? I don't know. It, it's, it kind of give conflicting answers on that. It's kind of implied that they grow, and they're sort of made, I don't really know. I know that the deleted seed implies that you can grow a TARDIS from a bit of it, but we've never actually seen that. But yeah, it's actually kind of mental that we are less than 24 hours away from, from this episode. It's kind of mad. All TARDIS are organic. I don't know. I don't think, I mean, they are technically, yeah, but like Capaldi's, when you look at the Capaldi TARDIS in terms of its aesthetic, I wouldn't exactly call it organic in style. Uh, will it be airing on BBC America simulcast? As far as I'm aware, the BBC America broadcast is later than the British one, rather than um, rather than simulcast like it has been previously. So yeah, I'd make sure you look that up beforehand, or, or you know, find like a way. Um, I don't want to leave my computer from 4 p.m. to 7:30 tomorrow i mean for me i'm gonna be you know obviously from 7 30 onwards i'm gonna be making stuff for you guys i'll film my reaction to the episode as well as the regeneration portion um and whatever bits of that that like get past copyright that you'll see um i'll, I'll record my initial reaction review to the episode just coming off the back of it then I'm, I'm planning on probably doing a live stream afterwards to break down some more um some more in-depth elements so you'll have plenty of content from me also, uh, I have been invited by Jay on Monday to um, to do, what you call it, a stream with uh, her and I believe Stuart as well and a couple other people. So that'll be fun. Um, do a watch along. I would, except the thing is, like, I'll be I'll be recording, so I'd probably just, you know, just um, JJ Xy. Um, so yeah, I'll probably just do it on my own for this one, but... I do want to do maybe Discord watch alongs in the future. So yeah, that's something I have considered doing. What happened to the, the rumor that it'll be in cinemas? That was like always just a fandom creation, I think. There was never much legitimacy behind that beyond, beyond fans just kind of saying, oh, it'd be cool if it was in cinemas, which admittedly it would, but I always thought, you know, the, the likelihood of that was always unlikely given ju just the fact that, quite frankly, you know, as much as 
I love this show. It's not really in a position where it justifies being in the cinema, at least not yet. I could see maybe the 60th getting that treatment, but not the centenary. I guess my parents' caravan so I can watch it on TV instead of my laptop because the quality would be of Sayer. Yeah, I'm watching it obviously on my, my PC setup or iPlayer. Um, you could do a uh, watch along uh, on the Discord. Yeah, but probably after um, because obviously uh, with with recording stuff, I, I you know, I got to be really quick with recording stuff and you'll, you'll get plenty of stuff on the night, but maybe at a later point. Ooh, there's a new trailer for Devil's Hour, Peter Capaldi's new show. That's cool. Darius, do you think the 2008 intro will be used at least once in the 60th specials? Again, I could see it being a twist on it. I don't think they'll just lift it. it if it is in it, they'll probably remaster it, I would imagine. Are you doing a reaction video? Yes. So long as I can get past copyright, yes. You should probably do a last minute theory uh, video slash stream tomorrow. I did consider that, but frankly, I don't know whether I've got much left to say purely on the basis that I feel like I've obviously, unlike most people, I've done like daily content leading up to the centenary. So I feel like I've almost exhausted all the things I have left to, um, to contribute to that. I have considered it. Maybe if like, you know, half an hour before I'm feeling like, you know, there, there's more ideas that come into my head. You've never done a reaction video before this? Yeah, no, I have done a couple. Um, it's just that a lot of them during Flux got copyright struck. There was one to the Halloween Apocalypse. There was one to, I think, there was one planned for Village of the Angels, but I don't know whether it went ahead. I think Survivors of the Flux got one. A couple of them were there. You're at 16k subs. I am. I have been for a while now, but thank you. But actually, speaking of that, we're only uh, 29 subscribers away from 16,100. So if any of you haven't subscribed, now is a great time, as good a time as any, uh, because it really helps out the channel and me uh, and growth. Angel one got taken down, I think. Yeah, it did, which is a shame because that was one of the few that I did with a friend. Um, uh, Rebecca TV was around at the time. I rem man, I remember saying that like. Like, we, uh, Village of the Angels were okay, and people were acting like I murdered their dog. I was like, I just said it was alright, you know? I didn't say it was bad, I just said it was fine. Yeah, I already reached 16k, we're, we're just 29 subscribers away from 16.1, which is the next goal, I should clarify. Um, can you imagine Jody, uh, Doctor being in a good man goes to war? Uh, it's not a scenario I pondered, but... I'm unsubscribing, no! Thanks for ignoring my comment. No way, I didn't see it. Uh, hello, and the biggest hint about Tenant is the name of the centenary. What, Power of the Doctor? I mean, Power of the Doctor kind of just, I think, refers to, like, either regeneration or, you know, the Power of the Doctor being someone who brings people together. I could see that being a line they use uh, in the special. Um, uh, that is my best answer. Will there be another Wild Endeavor on Power of the Doctor? Because if not, I'm like, Yes. There was going to be, um, you know, one before Power of the Doctor came out. It just didn't really line up. Like, you know, we kept planning on recording it and it just never happened. I guess because I've just been really busy with the main channel. But there will be a Power of the Doctor themed episode at some point. I think I can feel pretty safe in saying. The fact you've murdered my dog is unrelated to your dislike of Village of the Angels. Fair enough. Do, -do. do a live reaction on Twitch. I've seen people react to whole movies on there. That's a possibility, but Frank, like, I don't want to, you know, try and get Switch set up and then not work, and then I like missing the start. I think maybe like for the next one, possibly, but I just I don't want to take any risks. You know what I mean? I really still don't like Power of the Doctor's title. Yeah, I mean, I still, I mean, the fact that I still keep calling it the centenary is probably not a, a great thing. Will you and JXC do a review discussion? Yes, uh, on their channel. It's going to be live with uh, me, Stu Bagball. I think we're doing that on Monday, uh, but that's going to be separate from here. But yes, there will be one with me and Jay, as well as just my stuff on my own, which will go out the night of and around the episode. I mean, I could do that, but I don't know. It's just, it's a possibility that I'll, I'll look into the future. 
I saw a village of angels being rated the same as having sent once on a Twitter poll. Yeah, the weird thing about some Twitter polls, right, and if I can briefly pop off about Twitter polls, is that some people just want, like, their Twitter polls to be confined to their very specific circles, which is fine. But, like, I don't get why people then use those as, like, indications of how, like, the wider populace feels. It's like, if you're only letting certain people, you know, uh, spread your poll or, like, letting certain people vote in your poll, then it's, it's, ne it's only going to be reflective of the people who are able to vote in it, if you get what I mean. But, yeah. I think... I'm probably going to start wrapping up, unless there's any, like, questions. Um, Jade's due to the theory talk about Paradox. I mean, yeah, I did do that with them for once upon a time. Um, and I think there's going to be a couple other, like, people as well, just to, like, have one big one, I think. I've said, I don't know whether I'm allowed to say that. But the power of the power, yes. Um, but there we are. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start wrapping up. If anyone's got any final questions, uh, feel free to put them in now. Um, obviously super chats are always available if you want to get your if you're desperate for me to do something I don't know what um, then that's your chance I guess but uh, yeah once final questions come in I will um, I will uh, be wrapping up could you explain the middle eight in the R2 intro it's a piece of music I feel like uh, Therese, are you going to be the, the, the next Prime Minister? I would... No. I I, I do... I, I... No. I couldn't work with with those people. It would be... I would be too... I would get too mad. I would have to, like... I would, like, kill them. Uh, uh, I'm scared about uh, Chibnall butchering Ace and Tegan IU. I have my concerns for the way they're going to be characterised equally. I am just sort of like, eh. I just hope for the best. I'm here. Um, have I missed much? You've missed most of the stream. I am wrapping up now, but don't worry. Anything you've missed, obviously, you can just watch the stream back. Um, how do you think Jody will generate shot? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I I oh, I could see it being something to do with like the master's experiments, something like that. That's a possibility. Uh, Therese, I'm guessing the power of the Doctor refers to regeneration. Yeah, I think that's, I think it might be a double meaning of, like, regeneration and the power of the Doctor being, you know, bringing people together, etc, etc. But yes. Do you think Yaz or Dan will be killed off? No, I said that earlier in the stream. I I'm, I don't see it. Uh, I'd like one of them to die, because I think it would be good for, um like, drama. But I don't think they will. Were Wales named after Wales, or was Wales named after Wales? I don't think either is the case. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to wrap up the stream. Um, do you think the Fugitive Doctor will be the Thary as well? You'll have to wait and see. But look, we're less than 24 hours away now. Uh, it's the final night. You know, uh, we're going to... You know, the next time you see me will be for the episode. Coffee or tea, my last question. I don't like either. So there's a hot take for you. Literally, because they're hot beverages. Um, so yeah, I will see you all for Power of the Doctor. As I said, you'll definitely be getting stuff from me tomorrow. How un-British of you. What can I say? I'm an anarchist. Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your evenings. And um hope you all enjoy Power of the Doctor tomorrow. Fare thee well.